Introducing the Open Bloom 3D die set. Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and Alton you have a new release today. It's some more fabulous dies. I'm going to be creating a new 3D flower today, but first I thought it'd be fun to create my own watercolour cardstock and use that to create my flower or actually just a portion of my flower. But while I'm at it, I thought I might as well make some extra cardstock, some extra watercolour cardstock to create a second card with. And that card you'll be able to see at my blog as well as find all the links for everyone else who's hopping along and there's so much wonderful inspiration as always from the Alter New team and all the guest designers. I thought I'd focus on two different colors here and basically what I did was water down the color and also add some white or add lots of white with a little bit of pink and make some really pale pink and some add some brighter sections and I did wait for that to dry before I came in with some blues. I was on a pink and blue kick today. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So both cards are in um, the same colors today. I did make some cardstock here at the bottom. This is some Bristol Smooth cardstock and it does tolerate quite a bit of water. I did use my heat tool to dry it a little bit faster and I did run it through my die cutting machine to make it flat. So this is my die that I'm using today. It's a new Open Bloom 3D die set. And if you know me, you know I love my Alter New 3D floral flowers. I actually have an academy class which focuses on the 3D flowers and all the cards made within that class are 3D floral flowers and heaps of inspiration there. So if you haven't taken that class already, head over and check that out. What I did here was actually choose the portions of the cardstock and of the flower that I wanted to be made out of the, and the leaves, that I wanted to be made out of the watercolour cardstock. And I came in with the pink gradient cardstock and chose on the packaging here, that's why I've got it next to me here because I've not made this flower before. Um, I just followed the instructions and it was really easy to put together. I used the dotted adhesive, which is always fun to use because it does give me wriggle, wriggle room, that wasn't going to sound right, but it was right, yeah, wriggle room to move the elements as I place them, but liquid glue would work just as well. I did decide not to use the veins on the leaf that I die cut out of some navy blue, instead what I did was add some solid die cut blue leaves and I thought they were a bit more funkier. For this so that the leaf veins just made it look too busy so there's a few pieces in this flower but actually it did come together quite quickly my card front this is a side fold landscape card and i'm splattering some of the navy that's not the color of it it's one of the color families this is the new artist's watercolor set and every color flower family is in this watercolor set so basically You've got every colour you need to match the inks and papers and spray inks and everything that you have. I added a sentiment. This is actually with the Desert Night ink and it's from the Plant Retro Plantains stamp set and also a beautiful new nesting frames die cut. I popped up the panel on the front of the card and then actually had to pop up my leaves a little bit as well just so that they didn't get all bendy and wonky. And then I also did add some foam squares to the back of my flower before I adhered that to the front of the card. So it's a very clean and simple card. So is the other card, but in a little bit of a different way. So don't forget to head to my blog. If you like this video today, please click on the thumbs up button to let me know that you did. And if you haven't already, I would absolutely love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate all of your visits here. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.